So I, this one you recorded, um, Headbusters? I recorded Headbusters at 15, and then I went to boot, boot camp. camp, right? Yeah. What the fuck you go to boot camp for? So I ain't going to say no names, but it was it's a dude that everybody knows, you know. But we was in school, and everybody was selling, you know, weed or whatever. Everybody had got caught with me because I was kind of like the dancer. I was dancing. And so you I just see the grown Yeah, I had everybody. Yeah. On Friday, nigga, I'm in the hallway. Boo, everybody Turn get around. Ooh, ooh. So, uh, so one day, like, I, I sold this dude some, some weed in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? But we just smoked that shit. So this shit followed us, and we ain't know because we smoking. Like, we can't smell that shit. Man, they told him for the phone, went straight to that locker, got that shit. And it wasn't Pay worse like, on the age, boy. <laughs> it wasn't them, it wasn't them but an ounce, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was too much for school. Yeah, and my, and my mama, she told me, she was like, never sell this shit at school. Always do this shit around here where I, I, I can see you where I, you know, I can take it. And I'll be like, I was doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I had took that shit to school, and I ain't been, I wasn't going to school like that. So, they were like, what is he even doing here? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? So the principle, this is the way God worked for my life. The mm-hmm. principle taught school with my grandma a long time ago uh, and was in the army with my granddad oh, a long shit. time ago. Shit, no? Yeah. So Cub bring me in now. He sit me down. He say, I know your real name, but what they call you, Scrappy? He like, what's that right there? I look over. I act like I ain't. I was like, it looks like a bag of weed. Like, you know, he like, yeah. Where it come from? I don't know. He like, you don't, you ever check your locker? You ever? I know you don't be here all the time. You, you go in and out of it, you know. I was like, not lately. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm I'm using him to get around and yeah. shit. Like, yeah. and Cud hit me with the, Well, this is what we found in your locker. You know what I'm saying? And we got videotape of you going in your locker. You know what I'm saying? You the last one in it, you know? And he was like, he was like, man, telling your grandma and granddaddy this, he said, this will hurt their heart, man. You know what I'm saying? I get this. I tell Officer Benson right here to just, you know, take you to jail, take this down there, you know? He said, or, you know, I can get a judge, you know what I'm saying? You can sign this right here. I can get a judge to stamp it. And he says stuff we can do like that to, to where you don't have to do no jail time. It won't be on your record. You'll be straight. You just got to do this right here. And he said, either or, something got to be done about this. We got to handle it. We can't just let it just go unseen. He said, you need to think about it. I'll leave you, you know, let you think about it. And he was for real. I was like, because he's like, for real. Like, had the paperwork right there. Everything ready, already ready for me. I was the best one. Cut there like this. Took out his cuffs. He was like, he was a big dude too. I always kept a bulletproof vest on. Him. And he he like, I like you. You know, I didn't know you were doing all that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. I was like, so what I gotta do with the boot camp? Like what? <laughs> what that? What that? And I, I ain't never had been in jail before mm-hmm. in my life. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Um, all my cousins and all them, them been the juvenile, I ain't never had did none of that shit. I ain't never got caught doing shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, well, I ain't trying to go. I done heard them stories. I ain't even trying to go there. I said, shit, I'm going, what's that boot camp like? He was like, you got to stay there for six months. And he was like, you got to, he said, you got to, well, he said, you'll get a chance to get your GED, high school diploma, come out on the other side looking good. And he said, I think your grandparents hearing that part, would make them happy instead of leaving them with a broke heart. Mm. And I said, hold on, what am I tell my mama, though? He was like, he said, well, look at you. He said, I looked at your grade point average, you got a 0.3. Yeah. <laughs> he said, you never come to school. He said, he said, we'll tell you the best thing we'll tell your mama is you skip school and you, you're doing bad in school and we think this will be best for you. But he said, between us, you're going to sign this paper right here. So you tried to boot camp. Like when I got out, I had already did head bust before I went down there. When I got out, it was bubbling. Mm-hmm. And because all the niggas I hung around, they were older, and they need to go through the club doing that shit. We some head bust. So I had got that from them and put it up. I was that young nigga. They was yeah. making sure, you know what I'm saying, niggas kept that shit going. And, and 
and shit was up. And then, uh, and then like uh, when I when I came out from that shit, like a year and a half later, that's when uh, I hooked up with Trillville. 